G'day Adult Makers, this is Nat with another tutorial. This is Oxygen 2, tutorial number 4. Okay, I'm going to move on to the next one which is Land Contact. Land Contact may be uh, not in some models, for example, uh, water models probably don't have and necessarily have a Land Contact LOD. Um, basically, there's not much in this LOD except uh, looking down here we've got six points. And basically one point under each wheel. So as you can imagine from the name um, and six points with six wheels, it probably has something to do with where the uh, model meets the road. So and you'll notice that each of these points have their own special name, which you probably check names relative to front right, front left, driver, whatever. So Again, uh, the name section's relevant to location in the model. Next LOD, hit points. This basically tells the game engine uh, when something gets damaged, hit by a round, runs into something, drives over a rock maybe, where the damage is taken. Now for example, if I click on the motor named properties, you'll notice the points that pop up around the motor area. You can see down here around the motor area. So what that is telling the game is when for example a round is taken into the front uh, of this vehicle there's a good chance it affects the motor of the vehicle. Um, other names there are obviously very much relative to uh, wheels for example as you when you click on the name you can see that basically the highlighter points are relative to a wheel okay uh, next one view geometry now view geometry when I have a quick peep in the uh, preview is similar to the uh, geometry LOD but this one's called view geometry and what this is about is basically representing in-game, of course this is invisible to the game player, but this is what uh, the game uses to calculate whether somebody standing on one side of the vehicle can for example see somebody else standing on the other side of the vehicle. It uh, provides a physical barrier, a visible physical barrier, so that AI, um, etc. Uh, properly interpret uh, these objects in game. So, uh, for example, uh, this basically blocks the view. So, if we go back to the model, uh, again, there's nothing um, overly special about this. It doesn't have any mass, but you will notice the sharp points um, in the uh, area. But it looks like there's no need for three pointed faces. So uh, triangular faces is not a requirement of the uh, view geometry. Okay, a similar one, we're going to look at the next one, which is called fire geometry. Now the fire geometry is very similar in the sense that this is what actual rounds or bullets or missiles will hit. Now if we go to the um, preview, you can see it's not much different but there is special treatment for windows. you notice the texture of those windows looks a little different and even the cover of the uh, back of the truck looks slightly different. So there's probably special parameters to that to means that you know, rounds will go through those items. Um, but what this is representing is basically where rounds will hit. Um, so they can hit the wheels, they can hit the cab, they uh, can hit the bonnet and so forth and we we'll go back here you notice that we've got the proxies back the proxies have been represented in this view uh, the cargo proxies and the driver proxies what this means basically is because it's in this view means you can shoot it so uh, if there's a driver in the vehicle um, represented by this proxy they can be shot um, that's basically what that really means. Okay, that's basically the main 
areas on the LOD. I will just go back and mention something else concerning uh, view LODs. This is a view cargo LOD. There is other LODs in different models. You can have a view LOD especially for pilot or driver. So that is only the level of detail that the driver or pilot gets to see. Then you might have another view LOD for gunner. And again, obviously goes without saying pretty much, that is what the gunner will see and only the gunner gets to see. So um, different models will have different uh, LODs switched on or switched off.